beautiful people out there, beautiful children of God. It's a wonderful, wonderful day. It's a wonderful, wonderful life to have the Lord Jesus Christ in you. I've been watching a lot of videos out there, here and there. Not, I wouldn't say a lot, but over all this time I've been watching videos, you guys, and there's a lot of stuff going on out there. I see the flyaway people don't want to stop. I see that they're praying to fly away. And asking God to hurry up. Fly the best people off. Does that sound like God? Come take the best people out of here. And leave the unstudied, the unlearned, the people that didn't get it yet behind. No. No, no, no. To be tortured and be uh, with the pitchfork impression of Satan. Satan's coming in peace. The plagues are the Kenites. The plagues will be the fallen angels. The plagues will be the people, persecutions, all that stuff. The famine is for God the Word, the water, the truth. Plus, not to mention that most of our water is contaminated, earth is being destroyed, but it's for God the Word. Famine in the end times is for the truth, God the Word. I think it's selfish. I think it's going against God. The Bible tells you about people that continue to keep praying for Him to come, come, come. He tells you to be still, be still, be still. I've been saying this ever since March. People were screaming about the Pope and oh, it's a rapture there and here's the Antichrist. I was just telling everybody, be still, be still, be still. That's what God said. Be still and know that I am the Lord. I am on the throne. Um, are you worried about your persecutions, your trouble, you, 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 you? It's the art of losing yourself in bringing God praise and bringing Christ praise and bringing people into the kingdom together to gather to get her Israel the church we are the church you're talking about leaving hundreds just, I don't even know how many millions just a whole lot of people behind because you think you're elect and you're special so let's leave these guys behind I believe it's best people here to teach we all gather back at the same time the seventh trap that's the point there's got to be a great falling away before there's a coming too. So these people out here praying, we always pray for everyone, no matter who they are. We always pray for Israel, for other nations, for people. But these people want to sit out here and pray to fly away. God said, I'm against those children that teach that teach my children to fly to save their souls. The veil got ripped with the vigor he did the unveiling and that rent is with anger with vigor the veil is the covering of the flyaway doctrine he ripped it down from the top to the bottom to know let you know that he did it even the rocks were rent in the holy of holies to let you know that he did it Christ trims your wick with them scissors to make your flame bright so your you, your lamp doesn't go out he doesn't put out the fire you try to snip a flame and bring it back by yourself see if you can do it but Christ can do it with ease and quickness because I don't know what um what the deal is why people won't get off of it. It's because they're scared. They say they're not scared. They're scared. Why else would you pray for Jesus to hurry up and come? I know it's not um, uh, rainbows and butterflies out there, you guys, but it's not bad. We've been in captivity this whole time. Before anyone alive today, it goes back farther than that. It goes back further than 120 years. That's for sure. Tower of Babel Plus. Everything in the first earth age, spirits age is mocked here. So, here's these people trying to fly off and get out of here. Because they can't wait. I say they're scared. I say they're very scared. They're scared of what's up ahead because they don't know what's ahead. 
people feel fear the unknown, and that's what they're doing. Because why else would you be trying to fly away? Unless your life is torture, miserable, waiting. You stop persecuting people and trying to push them and form them and crack the law on them and bang the Bible on them. And you just live your life in the spirit. You'll see you fulfill the law by spirit. And then you might enjoy your Bible. And then you might understand what it's trying to tell you. But you want to live by it. And people do make the Bible a mark of the beast. And they they do it themselves. They turn it into the beast, and they and it's that 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 evil zealousness, and it comes in peace. And they say, "Well, how could this be evil? Well, how come you've ignored the fifty million times that it says Antichrist is coming first? How many times do you ignore all things that tell you against the plywood doctrine? How many times do you ignore God's word over and over?" and over and you wonder why you have no peace and comfort and these people wonder why they keep getting spiritual persecution I mean no one's life's going to be per perfect and we're all going to go through that stuff but if your life's miserable here you're making it that way you can enjoy a piece of heaven heaven is wherever God is and God is inside you therefore heaven can be here with you so we do gather back in spirit and have our new bodies, but people fear the unknown. And I'm just, I'm, I'm just telling you like it is. I'm telling you truth. Because you guys that have been listening to me and know what I've been saying, you go home and you talk to God just like when you found Him as a little child. And I guarantee you, you talk to God and say, God, are you coming to get me? Are you coming to fly me away early and leave these people behind? I guarantee you're not going to get a confirmation from the Holy Spirit. You're not going to feel that tangle through your body. Because we gather back at the same time. And then ask Him, God, are we going to gather back all at the same time? And talk to Him. And then tell me what you get. We read about people swearing by God said this, and swearing by the Holy Spirit said this, and swearing, and those are the curses that come swing back around, bite people in the butt. The old karmic rule come back around. I guess when it usually comes back, bite them in the butt, because they didn't learn. See, we got appearance of Antichrist coming, and that's got to bite them in the butt then. God's trying to get people to see. You look at all these people with the flyaway doctrine and they're all their dreams and their dreams and they interpret it to be some so, something pointing towards scripture as into um, revelation of events. Oh, God's telling me to foresee this and they move it and shape it into what they want. Look at the dreams. I know many of you have seen the other videos. Look at what they're saying. And it's exact message telling them, hey, you're not flying away. But they turn it and twist it around. They got floods and stuff coming and bridges and tornadoes and air. They don't see it as Satan. They don't see all these things coming to get them. God trying to warn them dream after dream after dream, vision after vision. Hey, Antichrist is coming first, but they don't see it. They see an escape. They see themselves flying away. Strong delusion. Believe a lie if you won't listen. That means God's going to try to move them to wherever he can to try to protect them and keep warning them to try to bring them out. And it's sad that people are in Christ and they're lost like that. I don't know, guys. Got some papers here. I've just been doing stuff like spirit of an, or spirit negative and positive text. Guys, while you're out there, like, if you start eating healthy and stuff, you'll notice people will attack you. You'll start noticing people act different. I mean, just in all things, that's one example. I just noticed it got worse when uh, I started eating right and stuff. My spiritual attacks got worse. But the more you learn about God, your spiritual attacks get worse. The more you're in spirit and positive, you know, you will be attacked. Spirit recognizes spirit, positive and positive, and negative and negative. That is one. People are in flesh. That's why they irritate you sometimes and they drive you nuts. And flesh and spirit don't get along. And negative and positive spirit doesn't always, you know, that collide where you get that conflict. So positive recognizes positive and negative recognizes negative. That's different frequencies. That's different 
um, areas, different energies, different or um, different auras too, different energies, the different spirits, spiritual attacks, the hating, persecuting, why people act towards you the way they do, the, this, the look in your presence, and you don't even have to say nothing and people start acting crazy. And they'll give you dirty looks, it's because of the spirit. Okay, and then people don't want to hear it. You try to keep telling them, you know, that's persecution, purse. Uh, cut the three, the trinity ion energy, persecuted, you're putting that holding, it's to contain, to shut up, because they don't want to hear the truth, they just want to fly off, see some sleep and rest and comfort, and some sleep spiritually dead. We're not fully awakened, and they slumber as in sleepy eyes and can't see what God's trying to tell them in the words. YouTube, you guys, it's become a fight zone. This is like what I wrote down. This is stuff, you know, because I haven't really been doing anything but just living in spirit. I've been good. I just have it. I just can't believe, you know, it's never going to stop because no one can agree on the word. This is basically what this is saying. It's a mixture of religion, denominations out there, you guys. All this stuff, prophecy, dreams, it means this, it means that. No, it means this. Then you'll get, it's lost, confused, anger. It's not a place to teach people or bring people to Christ. It's a fight zone. It's an arena. It's a Roman arena to fight over the word. And that's made the whole book, the 666. And God's causing people to set the books down and worship in spirit. Because people can't agree on one book, you guys. We've got all these different version Bibles. And then people want to bring in extra books. And then people want to say, oh, no, it's not that de whole definition. It's just this tiny little part of the definition. Oh, it's not those words. It's this and that word. And then they want to switch it around. Or if you get them mad, then they don't want to talk about it no more. And they'll just, oh, well, not that. Uh, well, let's go here. Well, let's look at this. And then it, it just becomes a game of chase. And that's not what we're supposed to do is chase people around. And it's ridiculous. So no one can agree on what that word actually says. Only here and there and everything else is a conflict and fight to the point where every time you put a video out, someone's opened their mouth and got something to say. Or someone's got a different way they want to interpret what you just got done doing. And they do it this way and that way and fights keep going on and on and on. So that's why I really haven't felt to put anything out there. But, okay, you got, and the G, what do you have? You've got C, L, and G, Christ, love, and God. Together is to get her, to gather, to love, the family. Okay, give God control, your heart, your soul. Go back inside, talk to him, live by spirit. Then you can enjoy the word when you have God and you can understand what it's saying instead of turn it into something crazy. And then you'll be able to embrace justice and grace, glory to Father. Believe in family. Lose you to get God. God's will, His way, His timing, His decisions above all else. Everlasting, never ending. I think people are praying for a rapture. I think people should be praying for a coming too. So that's what, when they pray for rapture, I'm going to be praying for them to have um, open eyes and open ears so they can see what they're, what's going on so they won't be lost. Okay, now this is kind of like drowning in water, you guys. The different ones, waist deep, you know, so to, up to your armpits, up to your neck. When it gets up to your neck, well, first we start out in muck, huh? Was, oh, that's the foundation. But we kept going. And this is with troubles, too. You could think of it whatever you like. You know, and then it goes up to the knee where the bend, the flex. It's harder, you know, waist deep. And then all the way up to your neck. And then what's, you know, what's next, you know? You have no choice but to bend your neck back, right? And then what? See, next is you'll be underneath the water. But if you learn to float on the water... See, when you got to tilt your head back, you come up. You're relaxed enough to drown, to know what's going on. 
but wise enough to float to know how and God will open your eyes and show you no matter how rough the waters are or how deep they are you can stay above them with Christ with God because you abode you abide I'm for you for Christ in Christ Jesus is rest in Christ God they will come unto you. John says, Son plus Father will come into you, into, unto you. In Christ alone, the seventh trump we gather back. Same time, stay Antichrist ready, not capture, rapture, trapture ready. See, and that's Rapture and Capture, RC Radio Controlled. So we got the eye here. See, this is just different stuff. Like the calcified third eye, your penal gland, the olive tree. In the mountain, see the 30, we unite air, spirit, each individual person within the nations. Or you could turn it sideways in six. There's a bunch of different stuff you can do, guys. Like with the words and with this looking at things. And there's the where Christ will trim it. See, snip, snip with the scissors. It'll make that light bright. That light is in you. See, you're the circle. And while everyone else is fighting, I'm just going to remain the rebel. I'm just going to state God's words, you guys, because I'm not going to be responsible for everybody, um, you know, for, for the stuff I see and not saying nothing about it. And, you know, it's God's touch. That was your first love, you know what I mean? Just like, then this is, you know, idol is not always a good thing, but neutral here, it's the new trail. It's not fighting because God's word is God's word, you know what I mean? You're always going to get, in, I'm not telling you not to defend yourself and you're not going to get in arguments. I'm just saying, you guys, you know, the new tra trail, it's where you dwell your peace. Okay, it's just like you kindle, it's the canned, the canned God and in the sense of the sealed, you kindle the candle, you add, you stir up the flames as you, you fan it, you add air and spirit to it, the little accordion blower, like you would the furnace, you guys, the wise owl, high above all things, the wisdom, your mind, your wisdom, the three, the trinity, High in the tree, perched in the tree, the branch, the limb. The wise owl can see very well in the dark. The dark things, the hidden things, things in shadow, things darkened by the shadows, by the light that you can't see. Restrict it. Restrict the light that's restricted, restricting by the shadows. The clouds, the masses, the peoples gather towards the lunar light, the light, the darkness. But when you have God with you, you can see in all things, and you live free by mercy and love, live free by His grace and His truth. And the Word will become shelter and not condemning you. And you step into the truth. Christ, God, and you. Be wise, guys. I love y'all. I don't want to see anyone misled. I want people to have understanding. And I pray for everybody. God bless you guys.